Hi, I'm a woodcut artist and I'm going to show you how I pack my equipment for both home and for trips. I take my bench hook that holds the wood in place. I put this in a suitcase if I'm going on a trip. I have my sheen of wood, which is um, soft and easy to cut. And I take a, a one piece with me in my suitcase. I take my cosmetic bag, which carries all of my tools, and I will show you what's in it. All very old that I've had for many, many years. These are my tools, my small Japanese tools. Whoa. And there are basically four kinds of tools. There's the knife, which is called a shochu, the um, V-safe gouge, which cuts into the wood in this way. There is the rounded gouge, rounded tool that cuts these little lines in there. And the big one that is a ooh, hard to take off. This is a, a one of the ones that's the U-shaped and can be used on large pieces of wood. This is the chisel that goes down. This is a very, all of these tools are just really important. They each one have a very, very specific role that they play. The Japanese tools come in two different kinds. One is, this is the general, regular, woodcut tool. These are the special tools. They're expensive and they come apart. You can take a knife out and add a new one to it. So they both work very well. These come, these tools come very long handled and I cut them so that I can use them within my hand and it makes it really easy to work with. I carry with me. This is something special. These are my tools that I bought when I was in college. They are 75 years old and I still use them. I love these tools. So I carry all of this with me. I carry a rubber mat that keeps things from slipping. Very important. I carry a tablecloth in case we're going to a hotel where I want to make sure that I don't leave a mess behind me. So I have this tablecloth that I put out on a, in the hotel. And the next most important thing is the sharpening of the tools. And that I carry this sharpening stone a bottle of little bottle of water to put on the stone this slip stone that makes the sharpening even better and this gets rubbed on here and makes a slip of clay that makes the tool slip and slide and become really sharp. I actually have some more tools for sharpening. These are diamond edge, uh, diamond um, tools, and they kept you can sharpen your tools this way. Now, the most important thing when you're doing woodwork is the sharpening of the tools and the safety. Your tools have to remain very, very sharp, otherwise they can slip across the wood, whoa, like this, just slide across the wood. 
right into your body. So you've got to keep the wood very, very sharp so that it does the work you need it to do. And all of these tools are meant for sharpening. This is a leather honing block that's used for after something is sharp to keep it going, keep it sharp all the time. Ah, uh, I love woodcuts and I love going on camping trips and all of this stuff can be packed very neatly into either a suitcase or a, into the car or at home. And when you're all finished, this is the last thing, the brush and pan to clean up your messes. That's it.